All right, folks. Our government has lost an F-35. I don't know whether this is propaganda or just government stupidity. Either one is kind of equally likely. Because apparently the F-35 stealth fighter jet is too stealthy for the military's own good. And so could this just be plain government stupidity? Yeah, that would make sense. Our government's pretty darn stupid. But it also could be trolling, propaganda trolling, to make the public and uh, other countries think that the F-35 is actually so stealthy that not even the United States knows how to find one when it's in uh, stealth mode. Or I don't know if it has a name. Uh, I assume, because they said, that, I think that with the, the way I read it was worded, and a lot of these reports you're going to see, or I'm sure they're going to be very much subject to change, uh, but I think they said that, like the transponders off is, is kind of how it works, which would make sense if you're trying to be stealthy in your plane, you're not going to turn on your transponder. But the, uh, the pilot ejected, the plane kept flying, and I guess just probably, well, it must have run until it ran out of fuel and just fell into the ocean, hopefully. I mean, we didn't hear about it landing, uh, you know, on top of anybody's house, uh, although I guess that would have been a good false flag, you know. They just waited and then, it, you know, happened to hit a federal building or something. Uh, you know, they could blame that on uh, Trump supporters. That would have been pretty funny. But no, the U.S. military admits that it was their doing. They say they had a pilot. It was it was uh, somebody from uh, presumably the Air Force, although maybe it was the Marines because I, I saw a report that the Marines are now grounding all flights for 48 hours or something. I mean, remember, the, the um, F-35 is a strange jet. Um, it doesn't have any windows. From what I recall, you wear a VR helmet, you know, because that costs more money. And uh, that's exactly that is that is exactly what the U.S. government wants. It's just spending more money. You know, I talked about how expensive F-16s are and how ridiculous it is. Oh, my gosh, F-16s, Ukraine. This is just a way to try and spend more and more money because, you know, tanks are too cheap. Uh, and ammunition's too cheap. They want to spend more money on Ukraine, so F-16s is the only way. Um, the F-35 costs, what, like 10 times more than an F-16? And the VR tech inside of it probably will, is already obsolete, because the F-35 entered development, what, like 15 years ago? Uh, probably, probably longer than that, but when did they finish it? They finished it around maybe 2017, or was it 2015? Now, this isn't the first time that the U.S. has lost some fighter planes... Um, everyone remembers uh, what was it called Flight 19, they call it. Uh, supposedly got lost in the Bermuda Triangle. Um, uh, I'm trying to remember. Gosh, what year was that? I think, if I remember correctly, um, I think my grandmother lived around there at the time. Has memories of that. I should ask her about that one time. But anyway, the... Uh, <laughs> Those guys, I was during World War II, went out on a mission and, and never came back. Who knows what happened? But this guy, the interesting thing is they found the pilot. They just have no idea where the plane is. What a strange occurrence. And the other weird thing is that the way this has been worded is that the military is asking for the public's help in locating the jet. Um, I would think that they would just have simple math. They would know how much fuel it had and how far it could have made it. If there was no pilot in it, and it, let's say it has, um, you know, it's programmed so that it, it won't let itself crash, um, it should just fly in a straight line uh, in until it runs out of fuel, right? I mean, or maybe, here's what they might be setting up, considering all the alien psyops we've been getting lately, and I'm someone who, you know, basic gut level i have no problem believing aliens i was always big into alien conspiracy theory stuff when i was younger um and i have no reason to like i don't dislike it more now i just think that there's a lot more psyops now i think that um <clears throat> you know the ufo stuff has gone from something that the government was very quiet about and evasive about to something that they all of a sudden are very open about which to me is a big red flag 
And so I think that perhaps this could be another alien psyop in the working or in the making where they say, you know, actually what happened was this F-35 encountered a UFO and the UFO seized control of the plane. And so the pilot had to eject and the pilot will go, I saw it. I saw it. It had two big black eyes and a giant head on a four foot tall body. And eventually they'll find the flying saucer um, <clears throat> crashed next to the F-35 because you see the F-35 is such a smart plane that on even on autopilot it was able to engage in a dogfight and actually beat the UFO in a dogfight. Um, <clears throat> and so even though the F-35 eventually crashed because it ran out of fuel, it was able to take down the flying saucer with it. Uh, and uh, <clears throat> the the brave pilot will then before uh, before Congress perhaps even a, a joint session of Congress, he will wheel out the mummified body of the alien pilot, but only after being prompted by Senator, uh, gosh, who's the most into aliens? Maybe Senator Rubio or something, asking him, are the aliens here with us right now? And the pilot will respond, yes, it's here, flesh and blood under the floorboards and he starts to to <clears throat> to lift up under the carpet and a trap door is exposed after which the body is lifted up it was kept under the floor so that it could stay in cold storage so all in all if this f-35 thing were actually a big deal they wouldn't be telling us about it they would cover it up. It just wouldn't be in the media. The F-35 going missing, if it were um, actually a mistake, I don't, I just don't see it being a story. Like it might be publicly revealed, but it would not be highlighted. The media would not be pushing it. Uh, it would be something that they would try and sweep under the rug, even if they couldn't conceal it entirely. But I mean, considering the pilot didn't even die, I mean, there's, it would be, there's no reason they couldn't cover this up. You know, just like they <clears throat> they have training missions and things all the time um you know it's not news if a if a plane you know does make it back to the base as long as nobody's dead i don't see how it's news um that the military would even comment on that a plane didn't make it back to the base you know and so this whole oh we're appealing to the public for help you know this bullshit the military doesn't want the public's help the military has contempt for the public they think we're the enemy the <laughs> We're the terrorists that they're training to fight in battle. Fifteen years ago, the military was saying that their number one concern was not, uh, you know, uh, foreign, uh, you know, foreign wars. It wasn't being invaded by other countries. It wasn't uh, even back in the heyday of Al Qaeda. It wasn't even Islamic terrorism. What they were worried about the most was the Bubba effect. Remember that very creative term, essentially. Ang it's exactly what it sounds like. Angry white men. That's what the military's number one fear was. We've been going back, you know, well over a decade. And so they would not be asking Bubba to help them find <laughs> a, uh, a lost F-35. If Bubba goes anywhere near an F-35, he's going to get shot. He's going to get perforated. He's going to get disarmed. So those are my thoughts on the new F-35 PSYOP. Um, I'm sorry I didn't have an upload yesterday, uh, but uh, really just uh, had things going on. So there's that. And, and there wasn't anything super pressing. So yeah, it's a Sunday. Okay? Sundays are for the Lord, as they say. Correct? We got it good. So with that said, I will see you folks back here tomorrow.